So a lot of people have been asking us why we left our high paying jobs in US to move to Canada. So today we are making this video to outline all the reasons we left the US for Canada. We both were on H-1B visa in US, which is a work visa, whereas in Canada we got permanent residency. Therefore, we traded work visa for a permanent residency. Now you might be thinking that we left the US because we could not get our H-1Bs for some reason. But that's not the case. Both Nikita and I had active H-1Bs and we made a conscious decision to leave the US for Canada. So when we left US, I still had one more year on my H-1B and my green card application was approved. And Anish had two more years on his H-1B. In this video, we are going to go over all the reasons why we felt that the H-1B was a very restrictive visa and it wasn't working for us. First reason is the H-1B renewal cycle. So H-1B visa is only valid for three years and after three years you have to renew it again. Now the problem is that Nikita and I are not in the same three-year renewal cycle, which means every one or two years one of us has to worry about getting H-1B renewed. So for example, if we would have still been in US, this year 2021, I would have to go through my H-1B renewal and Anish would have to go through his in 2023. Now, in previous years, getting an H1B renewed was super easy. But very recently, we've seen that a lot of H1B renewals are declined or are asked for more information. So a lot of almost everybody in US on H1B visa has to go through this and they somehow manage it. But for us, we felt it was restricting us in a lot of our dreams. And we'll cover all those points slowly in this video. Second reason is green card. As I mentioned earlier in this video, my green card application was also approved. However, getting an actual green card, which is equivalent to Canadian PR, would have taken us multiple decades. And until we got our green cards, we had to renew our H-1B every three years. And since H-1Bs are getting harder and harder to get approved, in case you were to lose your status for whatever reason, you had only 60 days to find another employer willing to sponsor the H-1B or leave the country. So that is why we never saw us living in the US long term. The third reason is travel. Both Nikita and I love to travel and H-1B was being very restricting in our international travel and let us explain this in more detail. So every three years when you renew your H-1B, you also need to renew the visa stamp on your passport. Basically, you can legally live in US, but if you leave the country, it is recommended that you get a new visa stamp on your passport to avoid hassles at the immigration at the airport. Because of this, we were unable to make any international travel plans without worrying about how we are going to get our visa stamped. Fourth reason is ambition. We both are really very ambitious and we really strive to improve our professional achievements. Now, every H-1B application contains something called as a labor condition application or an LCA which basically contains information about your employer, your job title, salary, and the likes. Now, any change in any of those factors, such as a promotion, a job title change, a salary increment, or even changing employers, requires you to get a new LCA and consequently a new H-1B. And now, this restarts the cycle again. You have a new H-1B. If you want to travel internationally, get a new visa stamp on your passport. Fifth reason 
is professional development. H1B being a work visa, you are restricted to work only in your domain of higher education. So in case we wanted to work for some other employer in some other domain, we would not be able to do it. Also on an H1B, it is very difficult to next to impossible to start your own business, even if it is in your own domain of higher education. Sixth reason is cost. Now, this is a minor issue, but every H1B renewal costs money. So the employer is responsible for paying for the H1B renewal as well as your LCA application. However, you are still responsible to pay for scheduling your visa appointment. There is a Dropbox option that's available for the H1B renewal, but it's only available in India for us. So whenever we were planning any international vacation, we had to come for these extra days to schedule an interview with the US Embassy to get our HMB renewed or travel to India to use the Dropbox option. And when we were renewing our HMB visas, at that time we couldn't use the Dropbox service because we had a new passport. And whenever we did renew our HMB visa, we also had to go ahead and update our driver's license because the driver's license expired on the same day as our h one visa. That's another minor cost added on top of everything else. So the final reason is adventure. We both had spent 8 years in the US and explored 20 states out of the 50. And at this point, we were feeling very much settled in the United States, but we wanted a new adventure in our lives. And what could be more adventurous than moving to a completely new country? So these were all the reasons why we never saw us permanently living in US on an H-1B visa. So that is why in 2018, we started our Canadian PR journey. And in 2019, we got our Canadian PR. Now, let's talk about why we chose Canada to be our new home. When we were looking for the new country, we wanted a country that had a strong tech industry and Canada came a close second to the United States. We also found a lot more job options in our field of expertise here in Canada. And of course, we had a lot of friends and family here in Canada that made this decision a lot easier for us. So leaving US was definitely a hard decision. We were really nostalgic while packing up our Atlanta house. We had a lot of memories and a friends that we are definitely going to miss. However, during the lockdown, we had enough time on our hands to discuss our future. And at that point, we decided that we have accomplished our American dream and now it's time to build our Canadian dream. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you liked the video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell icon so you get notified of all of our upcoming videos bye, bye.